see if Doug Mascot's around. Watch how we do this audio tonight. Hello? Doug Mascot? Yes, this is Doug Mascot. How can I help you? Why aren't you in the studio? Huh? Why aren't you in the studio? Which studio? My studio. Uh, my leg was bothering me, and to take that drive all the way out to Winchester, I didn't think I could handle it. Well, that's okay, Doug. You're here on the phone. So you're doing a benefit concert? Yes, I am. And when is it? It's uh, this Sunday at uh, 6.30. The doors are going to open. Now, is that December 16th? Yes, it is. And the doors are going to open where? At, to the place at 6.30. Well, what's the place? Is it in Salem, Massachusetts? Yes, it's uh, called the Ward 2 Social Club which is at 1 E. Collins Street in Salem, Mass. Now, Doug, you have a radio show that's on that morning. Now, that's the last radio show of the year, correct? Yes, it is, until next year. I mean, not next year as in next December, but in January. The college uh, shuts down all the uh, different uh, buildings while the kids are out for Christmas break, uh, holiday break, and um, they... Basically, shut down all the buildings, turn the heat down as low, you know, to a normal low possibility, and no, no one uses any of the buildings except if they're really needed. So they conserve energy and heat and everything. So all the buildings- they're cheapskates. No, no, it's a good way to save on energy and everything like that. I'm sorry if I were paying. Hundred grand to go to a college. I want to have work study even over the college vacation. That's me. Oh, okay. Well, that's your opinion, and uh, I'm being funny. Come on. Oh, I know, I know. And um, let me tell you, um, we're having the brigands playing. Who are they? The brigands. B r i g a n s. I tried to look them up on the web. I couldn't find them. A n d s. B r i g a n d s. A yeah, band from, uh, most of the guys are, one of the guys is from Malden, one is from somewhere on the west western part of the state, um, another one is from, uh, uh, Now, I don't know why they travel so far, because they're all going to break up anyway. You and I have been seeing this for uh, decades. Yeah, I know, but these guys have been together for quite a long time. Since my days at uh, at WNSH, I remember the name from you. Yeah, and um, they 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 um, play their own music. They're uh, an a uh, original band, and the covers that they do are from local bands of uh, the uh, older. Local bands. The Atlantics? The Atlantics. Uh, Stompers? N- no, um, the Atlantics is one of the th- songs they play. Um, they also play uh, The Outlets. Oh, wow. And many other, um, many other local bands, they play their music. So, do they do any originals? They do their own originals, too. And they have a new CD that's coming out, uh, I think, in January. So get me a copy. Oh, I will. Um, and then I have um, a band called Tommy's Myth, which is uh, with a fellow by the name of Mike McIver from uh, Three Toad Sloth, which is a local band. Uh, he's in a local band that plays all over Salem. Plus, he's been in many of times to... My my show um, on the radio to play with play acoustically uh, when I have like different things going on, and so his band has uh, him and a fellow by the name of Bill, and Bill is from a band called U- Used Gear, and uh, Used Gear is a band that plays uh, in Lynn mostly. How do you spell that? U S E D. 
used gear, like G E A R. The stuff that you use for like the amps and the yeah. PA. I used to work with a band called Gear, Michelle Gear and Bill Gear. Ah. That was really their name. Yep. And I gotta get so Bill and Michelle to play with used gear. <laughs> that should be funny. And oh, uh, get it. so um so who's the fellow in used gear? He's in the brigands? No no, um he the guy uh Mike MacIver is with a band called Three Toed Sloth. Oh, okay, got it. And uh, they have been playing forever. Um, they play like the Lobster Shanty in Salem. Uh, they they play wherever they can. They, I mean, they've been around forever. Um, and then I have um, a group a. a band from, and I don't know anything about them, but my new co-host of my radio show, his name is Robbie Mendel, M-I-N-D-E-L, uh, he, he's bringing a band that he's helping, that's from the high school of Marble. And what are they called? They're called Starlight Radio. And uh, then we also have a uh, um, a uh, hip hop person that's coming in. So that's the whole lineup, and it starts at seven o'clock. Yep, they start seven o'clock, and in between, Robbie is going to be DJing. Uh, in between the bands, we'll be having also some surprise um, guests coming in. Okay, Doug. So again, the name of the club is what? Is called the Ward Two. W A R D Ward Two Social Club. Social Club, and it is on what street in Peabody? One, no, in Salem, One E Collins Street. Now, didn't you have a club called Collins? Yes, I did about five years ago. Was that on Collins Street? That was that was on Main Street. Okay, I just got it all mixed up, but that's okay. The Ward One Social Club on Collins Street. Ward 2, Ward 2 Social Club on Collins Street, Salem. Any landmarks that's near? Um, the best way to... Well, just a quick landmark, and because um, we got to keep the show rolling, Doug. You know how I am. The, the, if you can find Bridge Street in Salem, uh, look for Osgood Street. Take a right onto Osgood Street. And at the at halfway down, there's a stop sign. Take a left, and at the end of that street is the club. Sounds good. Now, what time do the festivities start? Start. The festivities start at seven p.m. Jeff, don't worry about the cameras. Let's just do one. And um, to let people know that we have uh, raffles, and we're going to have fifty-fifty raffles. And we're asking everyone to bring a gift for a teenager. So what's the benefit for? It, it's called Gifts for Teens, and it's for teenage kids who really won't be getting much of a Christmas because they're, like, in halfway houses. So this is Gifts for Teens, People in Halfway Houses at the Ward 2 Social Club on Collins Street in Salem. What time does it start again? It starts at 7 p.m. And who's the first act? Uh, we're still uh, putting it together. On okay, so the Brigands are playing. Uh, Mike MacGyver and Three Toad Sloth. Robbie is doing the DJing, Starlight Radio. Sounds like a fun time. It's going to be. Now, let's talk about your radio show. You're on the air at 9 o'clock Sunday morning. Are you doing Christmas songs? We're going to be doing Christmas songs. Some of the uh, different musicians that are going to be playing and other musicians that I know are coming in to uh, play acoustically. I mean, maybe they might not play Christmas songs, but uh, we're going to try to play a, enough Christmas music. Um, okay, so we're talking to Doug Mascot of Tracks of the Town Radio, 91.7 FM people, Sunday mornings at 9 to noon. Larry Lapori, the city messenger of Medford, listens to you. Ah, great. You remember Larry from NSH Radio. Yes, I do. 
So I'll tell Larry I talked to you tonight. Please do. And se- send him uh, my uh, best wishes. For Christmas, because I'm going to see him the Tuesday before Christmas. And uh, Joe? Yep. Joe and your listeners, I would like to wish your listeners a... Well, this is in the middle of Hanukkah right now, so I would like to wish any of your Jewish listeners a happy Hanukkah, and I would like to wish everybody else a happy Merry Christmas and a happy peaceful New Year. So do non-Jewish people not celebrate Hanukkah? Well, who knows? Some people do celebrate Hanukkah, even though they're not Jewish. Some people celebrate Christmas even though they're Jewish. Many, many of our Jewish friends celebrate Christmas. Yeah. And let me tell you, over the years, I have had the pleasure of celebrating Christmas with uh, one of my neighbors when I was a little kid. They invited me every year to come trim the tree, pick out the tree, have Christmas dinner with them. And my parents, when we were all young, they used to invite all of our friends, mine and my sister's friends, to come down, have Hanukkah dinner with us, and ha- have uh, potato lockers. And uh, my father would sit and tell the the uh, story of the the uh, of uh, Hanukkah to all of us kids. Then my mother would t- teach everyone how to play the dreidel game. And uh, everyone had a great time. Well, Doug, again, for our listeners, um, they can Google WMWM Salem to get the online. They can hear it online, 91.7 FM. And uh, just give us a couple of the names coming in Sunday. Then we got to go. Okay. uh, Some of the guys from the Brigands are coming in. Some of the guys from uh, Tommy Smith. Some of the guys from Starlight. Uh, Robbie is going to be there. I'm going to be there. Uh, Bob Nelson. Raccoon Radio. Yeah, Raccoon Radio. And I would like to also uh, let people know that if uh, they would like to get a hold of me to find out more about the event, they can call me at my office at 781-888-2755. And, Joe, I would like to say thank you very much for having me over the phone lines on your show tonight. Well, thank you very much, Doug, and you're doing a good cause, and it's a nice charitable event. Thank you for calling in. Happy Hanukkah. Happy happy holidays to you and all of your listeners. Thanks, Dougie. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. That's Doug Mascott. And Jeff Dearman is here. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you to Judy. We had a little technical difficulty because of the setup for the party last night. So all the microphones were plugged in here. Um, I was here early. I was here like 20 of, quarter of, and we got everything set up. And then you go on the air and who knows. But that's, you know, that's the way it is Um, here. Now we're going to talk to Gary DiCarlo. Hey, Jeff Dearman, how are you? Jeff's waving. Jeff was at the Celtics game last night. Biting all his nails as he was ushering through the first overtime, through the fourth overtime, the seventh overtime. You know, here's my comment. What Kevin Garnett, they had to give him a rest. They give him a rest, and as I heard on the radio, the other team starts getting back in the door. So by giving him a rest, they had to go into overtime. Now, Jeff, you can wave your hand. Did Kevin Garnett play in the overtime? Yes. So what was the point of giving him the rest if – the rest caused an overtime, right? We, we had a comfortable lead. Uh, of course, you, le- you, you learn by doing, and Kevin's gotten older, but maybe in the future, Doc Rivers will keep him in five or ten minutes longer so they don't have to go into overtime with a... You know, the other team we faced last night was depleted. So, uh, you know, the Celtics struggled, but they won the game, and uh, a win is a win is a win. Now... We're going to talk to Gary DiCarlo of the uh, band Steam. 